What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Friend and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War War Zone video. Jesus Christ that name. But what is up guys? Back again with another banger. Today we're going to be redeeming, picking up and reviewing the brand new free. I say free like this because it is free, but you got to be a PlayStation Plus subscriber to have it and that costs money. So, it's free free call of duty bundle that is available now for playstation plus subscribers i do this video usually every time there is a pack for multiple reasons to one let you know the one that doesn't know that there's a brand new pack available yes for black ops yeah there's a new one go redeem it if you know how to do so and two for the people that may see this skin running around and not know where it's from Here's where it's from. And also, for tons of people who may try to figure out a way to find it in their PlayStation Network and it's not popping up for me and you have this questions, this is the video so we could talk about it and meet up and talk about this brand new bundle. Also, I'm going to have gameplay on the bundle and, you know, clips of me playing with the blueprint that is available in this bundle right here in this video. Again, I'll be trying to do a little review on it as well to let you know if you should use it. Is it cool looking or whatever? Let's dive into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is jump over to the PlayStation Store. I believe it's the PlayStation Store. It should be up. I'm not too sure. Every time, every time PlayStation usually has the Call of Duty bundles available, it's not available. You got to wait days for it to come up. I seen it on my deal section earlier, right here. You see, right above me. It says Call of Duty Warzone Combat Pack. If you're not seeing this on your screen, like right here, right in the beginning of the deal section, I don't I don't know what to tell you. Don't go in the store then. Go straight into the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War app. Go all the way to the store tab and scroll all the way down to the franchise store. That's what you want to click on. The Call of Duty franchise store where you can buy your COD points. Scroll all the way down again. And then here, you're going to see a tab miscellaneous tab of tons of bundles that you can buy from the playstation store one of them being the free one the warzone combat pack that's exactly what we want we're gonna grab it and i grab it on here so i could get this screen there's a screen that pops up and shows your stuff like being added in game so i like to see that um it's pretty cool looking so i just i always do it for from here See, I get the store purchasing, so it looks like I actually bought a bundle, right? Or that's how it looked before, and it's not going to show me. Great. Now I look like an idiot. I mean, when do I don't? But, you know, stop it. Either way, we get a new operator um, skin for the homeboy Sims. And I'm not a big fan of this skin. Um, let's see the the operator though. Personalized right here. No, this is the one from the battle pass. Yeah, that's the battle pass one. This is the one that you get from that bundle. And um, I mean, he's not terrible. I like his chain. Okay, that chain is winning me over. I don't like the glow sticks. The glow sticks is kind of whack. Uh, I don't know. Ball head showing i think that's kind of cool um i'm not really sure what's the vibe you know with these they look like glow sticks to me and i don't like them <laughs> i don't like this like urine color glow sticks i don't know if they glow in the game but the chain around his neck is fire but everything else is just it's just an all black skin literally like he just doesn't have a sheet of color on it i can't scroll down to his to see his boots I'm just, that's what i'm trying to do and you also get a watch. So let's go to, what is it? Accessories. And I believe you get this watch, right? No. This is from season one. Season one. Is it the same watch just with the red? I think it. Is it the same watch? Wow, Call of Duty. In the battle pass, you get this. And in the, they give you this, the same one from the, come on, Call of Duty. Come on, really? That is a blow. That is a blow. Because that's literally the same watch. You could have threw something different there. Wow. The red, the black and red one looks better. Wow. That is a, that is a blow. And then we also get a weapon blueprint, which I'm going to make a custom 
four right here it's a i believe it's a not a submachine gun it is a, it's a light machine gun it's a light machine gun should be the only blueprint i have because i don't have blueprints for my submachine guns and yeah it's definitely this one now looks wise this one don't look all too half bad it's dark it's green a little bit of uh, 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 the Chinese letterings or Japanese letterings, excuse me, I don't know. That skull looking like it's from a um, a Sphinx, like it's like a, a, a skull in front of a Sphinx face. That's pretty cool. The yellow lettering on the side of it, again, pretty cool. All black. Can't really go wrong with an all black finish. Now, enough about the looks. Let's see how it actually, like the attachments is going to have on it. Because that's, that's what people really want to know, right? The attachments it only has four attachments wow so you can make it a tad bit better this is not gonna be <laughs> this is not gonna be good from like oh my god a one oh my oh my god one i need to unlock a lot of stuff for this like machine gun but jesus christ the task force and the grip is gonna make what this blueprint is good for but uh Let's run it. Domination. Oh my god, I am not gonna like this. This shit looks down sight so slowly. Oh my god, I didn't shoot too this far. Would I want to run this blueprint like this? No. Let me know what attachments in the comments as playable. Because this aim down sight speed is terrible. Right now, this is terrible aim down sight speed. Enemy RCXD detected. Gotcha. Also, I know I was going to get this question, so I'm answering it right now. Yes, this is him in Warzone. You can use this skin under the Black Ops operators in Warzone. So when you're in Warzone, you're in the Operators tab. You click down where you could select from all operators, Modern Warfare, Black Ops. Move over to your boy Sims. Pick him. Press Triangle to customize. And you're going to have your boy with the outfit right here. Now, again, in Warzone, 
looks pretty much the same. With the zoom out, I am noticing a little bit more details, especially with his arm having that big, let's zoom in. Uh, having these, oh, it looks blue from the shadow. So it's not blue. I was gonna say he has like this blue um, thing around his arms, but it's just black holding more of those, what I'm calling glow sticks, <laughs> which cause, to be honest, that's what they look like. They look like he had a long mission through the woods and he wanted to make sure he could fucking see. And he brought a ton of those motherfuckers. And, you know, booted up with the boots, all black, patent leather boots, too. Um, and again, it's an all black skin. It looks pretty cool. The homie with the chain around his neck, again, looks fire. He got the bowl cut, fresh shape up, looking, looking clean with the black glasses. Cool look on him. This is the gun right here in Warzone, again, with the blueprint. You could use the gun in Warzone with the blueprint if you unlock this. And this is pretty cool because... From my understanding, you should be able to unlock this if you have Warzone installed. You should be able to get Sims this way as well as this blueprint and be able to rock with this gun, at least a lock on some attachments until you get Black Ops. I'm not sure if you can edit the gun any other way if you don't have the gun unlocked with not having Black Ops. This is a way to have the RPD in your loadout, in your arsenal technically with this blueprint. But again, it's not it's not one that you wanna to go to bat with. It's not gonna be the best loadout for this gun and, and this gun is not even all that. But it, it it's a good floor loot weapon in Warzone, but eh. yeah, I'm not a fan of the the, the watch either, man. That, it's to me, it's a blow. It's literally a reskin. This is literally a reskin of the one that's in the battle pass. It's just green and black instead of just black and red. And, and to me, the red looks better. The red line with the with the red button to me looks way better than the black on the white with the green line. I and boy, why do why do Call of Duty keep doing that? Why why? I mean, I guess it's a free skin, so it's free. Like, so it's giving the people who don't have access to the battle pass this this watch, which is cool. Boy, the people that do have access to this battle pass, it's just gonna have a double of the same watch. That's whack. That's whack to me, bro. That's whack to me. That is whack to me. Now, I also want to bring this up. Because I know people are going to ask as well. But no. No and no. You cannot use the blueprint inside of Call of Duty Modern Warfare's multiplayer. The regular multiplayer that we all know and love. Black Ops weapons are not in here. They're not coming. So there's no way to access that blueprint. Not only that, the operator. There's no way to access the Black Op operators inside of just regular degular Call of Duty Modern Warfare multiplayer. I know that's a bummer for some. A lot of people are still heavily invested in playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare and don't like Black Ops and don't want to upgrade to Black Ops and bought the Battle Pass and you know want the content to continue flow with Modern Warfare, there is hope, there is stuff, quote unquote, that is going to be coming to Modern Warfare multiplayer itself. However, a lot of that stuff is linking with Modern Warfare in Warzone. So we don't know if that stuff is going to be kind of excluding the multiplayer portion of Modern Warfare and just be, you know, Modern Warfare Warzone when it does come to that new content. So we're gonna have to see when that content does actually roll out. However, I hope this video answers all of those questions for you guys. If you have any more, leave them down in the comments. As you guys know, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you found this video helpful, informative, please leave a like on it. It does help me out a ton. As far as moving the video into recommend it so other people can check out the videos. Also, if you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm on the road to 10K this year. I know, 10K. Last year we did 2K. This year, 2021, I want to do 10K in a year. I'm on the road to 3K currently. We at 2,060 subscribers on the recording of this video. So, Again, we got a long way to go if we're going to hit that 10K. Hit that subscribe button. Let's see if we can do it this year. I'm going to be grinding, making videos again daily for you guys here on the channel. It's been a little bit slow. As you can hear in my voice, I'm a little sick. 
but I'm still going to have content being dropped on the channel. So be on the lookout for that. Also, there's also a ton of stuff inside of Call of Duty Black Ops that I have yet to try out that I yet to done videos on. And if you have any video suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. That's going to be it, guys. Peace. I love you guys. See you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter Instagram or TikTok or whatever I'm daddy gamer Fred on all of those again daddy gamer Fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter also on all of my videos I do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest I am a variety channel I do tons of stuff tons of Pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one